We're coming to you from Kanamaya Primary School, where we believe teaching is a work of heart, and we also believe that we are the heartbeat of Grossi Park. So with our philosophy of enter to learn, leave to serve, we're creating a sense of belonging. We have the pillars of values-driven learning, e-learning, and of course, growth mindset, which is the, 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 the offering of the department through transform to perform. And we've seen through our little way of introducing this at our school, how the attitudes of our children have changed, how the behavior has changed, and how attendance has increased. With the values education, I find that learners are more responsible for themselves. They take responsibility when it comes to um, working and performing on tasks. I also find that they work better with their peers because they're a bit more understanding. Um, there's a self-awareness so that with that comes the discipline. The values taught me to be humble, be well orientated, have a creative mind and be the best I can be. Every grade has an opportunity to launch a different characteristic. Like I said, we do fairness, so the learners come in the oranges and um, we do poetry about fairness. We might perform um, role plays where the model of the story is about being fair. Um, we also sing songs that is centered around fairness. And, and then in the classroom, normally it's decked out in orange. You have a little corner that's dedicated to a certain value. And then um, also in the classroom you'll have discussions about what it is to be fair and what it is to be unfair and how that makes you feel. Have you ever been unfairly treated, for example? I like working on computers because um, when it's actually much easier because you don't, you don't need a pencil or anything. You, need it. you just type it in. If I don't understand um, my, my mathematics, then I go and read it first by the library and if they don't have it, then I go to Google for my second resource. What we do is we basically bring the kids out to the lab and um, we do things like green shoots, maths online, um, reading online, everything that is that got to do with e-learning. I have a phone, it is connected to the internet. I use it for communication to my friends and parents. I use it for research on projects. I think using a computer at school is easier, but the thing I don't like about it is um, they give examples, I think that's a nice idea, but I think when a person explains it to you, it's much more understandable. What we usually notice is that kids, kids tend to do better academically when they are actually doing something that they like. Because they have these um, smartphones and the list goes on um, at home, they are more comfortable in doing that and we try to bring the academic side into it so that they can improve in their results. So, so yeah, that's basically what it is. They're extremely excited when it comes to, to lab online. The buzz is always extremely high. But they also know that there's a sense of seriousness because we've involved the academics as well. When a child is in front of a computer or a tablet, it just changes the whole ethos of how he approaches learning and the message that we want to bring that although there's poverty out there, that it's not possible available at the homes, it's available at the school. In this way we believe through the program of the department that we can leapfrog education and give every child an opportunity and let them believe that we, the adults, are standing behind them with their parents because we want them to succeed. We want them to get to matric and beyond university and anywhere a university in the world so that they can come back and make a difference and build this country of ours. Good morning, Ashlyn. How are you today? I am super brilliant, thank you. Ashlyn, can you tell me or say the mantra for respect? Of course. I am respectful. I treat myself and others with respect. I find ways to respect both living and non-living things. Wow, high five Ashlyn, you are super awesome. Thank you.